Hello, this is Dr. Stanley Kim, the hematologist in Claremont, California. Today, we will discuss hemochromatosis. The hemochromatosis is a disease condition where too much iron is absorbed from the stomach and intestine and are deposited in important organs such as liver, heart, brain, pancreas, and even many joints. So patients can develop liver cirrhosis, heart failure, irregular heartbeats, uh, diabetes, and uh, even Parkinson's disease. Many patients are uh, confused with the fibromyalgia because they can develop pain in many different joints. Let's discuss more in detail and thank you for watching. Hemochromatosis has a two kinds. Primary hemochromatosis, which is called hereditary hemochromatosis, the subject we are discussing today. And the secondary hemochromatosis is usually from blood transfusion because blood has a lots of iron when the patients have a many blood transfusion they develop iron overload hereditary hemochromatosis is caused by mutation of genes controlling iron absorption the iron absorption from the gut usually stomach and duodenum increases out of control and iron accumulates in the body causing organ damages it's inherited in autosomal recessive pattern and are quite common in people of northern European descent. It's believed to be originated from a Celtic person, the uh, current days Irish or Scottish. But this gene was a good gene in those days when the foods were scarce. People with this genes absorbed iron much better than other people. But now we have uh, too much food, so the uh, too much iron absorption it actually caused the problem. It's a first discovered, discovered by Dr. Armand Tresseau. He is a good-looking guy. Our knowledge about hemochromatosis gene is somewhat limited. Among many uh, known or even unknown genes, the HFE gene is the best known as the cause of hemochromatosis. This gene controls the iron absorption in the gut. I like to introduce a hormone by the name of hepcidin. It inhibits iron transport from the gut to the blood. Uh, when you have a too much iron, the hepcidin uh, block the iron absorption to make a good balance. But this HFE mutation lowers the hepcidin level, so the ions are absorbed continuously, even though we may have a too much iron in the body. So with this mutation, iron absorption increases and iron accumulates in the organs, such as liver, heart, pancreas, brain, skin, and even joints. This HFE mutation is quite common, occurring in one out of 200 people, but only 10% of them develop hemochromatosis. Among many uh, uh, alleles uh, uh, of the HFE gene, C282Y and the H63D alleles are mostly associated with the hereditary hemochromatosis. Please look at these uh, pictures I draw. Uh, we have a pair of chromosomes, and one from dad, the other from mom. In chromosome 6, uh, uh, there is a HFE uh, genes. When you zoom in, you can see the lot of uh, DNAs, the components of the genes. And among these uh, genes of uh, HFE, you will see the uh, C282Y, uh, and the H63D allele mutation. Homozygous CX, C282Y is the most common phenotype responsible for clinical iron accumulation. The homozygous two, uh, C282Y means both uh, chromosomes, one from dad, the other from mom, have two uh, C282Y uh, uh, genes mutation. And the compound heterozygous mutation of C282Y and this H63D is the most common cause of clinical iron overload resulting in organ damage. The compound heterozygous mutation means the one from dead has uh, C282Y and the other mom uh, chromosome has the uh, H63D. The symptoms usually occur in 40, 50, 40 to 50s in men and the women after menopause, mostly fatigue, skin hyperpigmentation because of iron deposition, 
arthritis of hands, especially second and third metacarpal phalangeal joints and the joint stiffness. In a study, 43% of patients met diagnostic criteria for fibromyalgia. So I believe many patients having fibromyalgia uh, may have this hemochromatosis. The classical triad of cirrhosis, diabetes, and, and the bronze skin occur later in the uh, disease. And it's really seen nowadays due to early diagnosis. And uh, there are some bacteria and virus love uh, ions. We call it siderophilic organism. Uh, include the Yersinia enterocolica. It's a foodborne causing food poison. And the Vibrio, you know the Vibrio uh, common in the uh, food poisoning from seafood. Listeria, Salmonella, Aspergillus, and the hepatitis B and C love ions. The organ damages by the iron overloading include the liver having causing hepatomegaly, fibrosis, and cirrhosis. And the hepatocellular cancer uh, occurs in 30% of patients with the hemochromatosis and the liver cirrhosis. And excessive alcohol drinking and the viral hepatitis aggravates liver injury. Heart failure and the big hearts and the irregular heartbeat, really sudden cardiac death was reported. Uh, because of pancreas have a too much iron deposition, uh, it can cause diabetes mellitus type 2 in 50% of patients. And if it deposit in the brain, it can cause hypopetritism and then uh, hypogonadism, causing the sexual dysfunction in men, and the hypothyroidism, mostly in male, and the adrenal insufficiency. The brain uh, iron deposition can cause cognitive dysfunction. Uh, and uh, this hemochromatosis is a high risk for Alzheimer's disease and rarely can cause uh, Parkinson's disease as well, and the amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, it's called the Lugier's disease. The joints uh, have a pain and the swelling, inflammation, especially hands, and the skin can have a hyperpigmentation and the bronze skin. The MRI scan can uh, estimate body iron stores. So MRI scan of the liver uh, is done when the serum, uh, serum ferritin level is over 1,000 nanogram per milliliter to confirm the iron overload. Also, uh, it can be done even with the lower ferritin level when the chromochromatosis is strongly suspected due to signs of organ injury like abnormal liver function. The MRI scan of the heart is also uh, done to confirm iron overload when the patients have the symptoms like a heart failure, EKG abnormalities and the irregular heartbeat. Liver biopsy is seldom done nowadays, but used to be the diagnostic method before the HFE gene was discovered in 1996. Uh, so nowadays, for the diagnosis only, the liver biopsy is not necessary, but this liver biopsy may be helpful when the patients have a hepatomegaly or liver dysfunction of unknown reasons. Please look at this photo uh, offered by the uh, uh, Radiology Society of North Carolina, uh, North America. This is the uh, uh, CT uh, MRI scan of the liver of patients uh, with the hemochromatosis. It's a kind of a low signal, pretty black, dark. But after one year of phlebotomy, you can see a little bit lighten up. A correct diagnosis starts from uh, good suspicion. So when the patients present those symptoms, you suspect the uh, hemochromatosis. The symptoms of unexplained fatigue, clinical symptoms, signs of iron overload, uh, which we started in previous slides, like a liver disease, heart problem, uh, irregular heartbeat. Please look at this EKG tracing of frequently sick sinus syndrome or sinus node dysfunction is the uh, common cardiac arrhythmia seen in the hemochromatosis. And the type 2 diabetes mellitus, male sexual dysfunction, skin hyperpigmentation, or even cognitive brain dysfunction. Porphyria cutanea tarda is caused by iron overload, so patients with this disease may have underlying hemochromatosis. Uh, patients with a family history of hemochromatosis need to be uh, uh, investigated for hemochromatosis. Then you test for serum ferritin and the transferrin saturation. High serum ferritin level, uh, over 300 nanogram per ml, 
in uh, men or over 200 in women and uh, high transparent saturation over 45 percent then uh, if they have both of this condition which indicates in, which is indication of iron overload then you test for the hfe gene mutation for uh, c282y c282y those homozygous and then uh, c 82Y and H63D, which is compound heterozygous mutation. If they're positive, you diagnose the hereditary hemochromatosis. If it's negative, they still may have a hereditary hemochromatosis with a different genotype because we still don't know the uh, every uh, hemochromatosis genes. Or they may have a just simply acquired iron overload. So sometimes it's difficult to diagnose hemochromatosis because serum ferritin level can go up high from many other conditions because the ferritin is an acute phase reactant going up with the uh, inflammation infection or other injury or big stress. The diagnosis cannot be made when, the, when there is a no signs of iron overload, even though patients may have a, a heterozygous mutation or homozygous H63D mutation or even homozygous C282Y or compound heterozygous mutation with a normal ferritin level. But these patients need to be monitored because they may develop hereditary hemochromatosis later. On the other hand, patients with a no uh, HFE mutation, but uh, with a high ferritin transferrin restoration level can have a hereditary hemochromatosis due to mutations in other phenotypes. Phlebotomy, bloodletting, is the treatment of choice. It's to remove iron to prevent organ dysfunction and or improve organ function. Phlebotomy is not necessary for patients with no evidence of iron overload, uh, even, even if they have a homozygous or compound heterozygous mutation, but they need to uh, uh, have a regular monitoring. Patients with a heterozygous mutation usually don't develop iron overload, but they may present with a high ferritin level due to some other reason, like alcoholism, inflammation, infection. So in those uh, dubious case, MRI scan of the liver may be useful to confirm or reject the uh, over iron overload. For initial phlebotomy, we remove 500 ml of whole blood once or twice a week. The guideline for the target ferritin levels are uh, different among agencies. Normally, a uh, ferritin level of 50 milligram, a uh, 50 nanogram, and the transparent saturation about 20% are the reasonable targets. After the uh, targets are uh, reached, then we do the uh, maintenance phlebotomy, 500 ml every several months to keep the ferritin level 50 to 100 nanogram per ml. Can you donate this uh, phlebotomized blood or patients can go to the blood bank to donate instead of phlebotomy? Yes, most of the time, yes, but certain agencies may not accept them. But the phlebotomized blood from other disease, like uh, folicythemia vera, cannot be used for donation. When patients don't tolerate or refuse phlebotomy, uh, and when their ferritin level is over 1,000 nanogram per ml, uh, we offer defroxamine IV uh, sub-Q or defrocerox. Defrocerox has a two uh, brand names uh, pill, Jadenu and Xjade. As a last resort, you can offer liver transplantation. Dietary recommendation. Patients need to avoid alcohol because it's hepatotoxic. About 30% of patients with a cirrhosis and hereditary hemochromatosis develop hepatocellular carcinoma. They need to have a screening ultrasound on liver every six months. And to minimize vitamin C and the citrus because vitamin C increases GI iron absorption. And you know certain bacteria love uh, iron like a vibrio, the cause of seafood food poisoning. So avoid the raw seafood or uh, contaminated shellfish. Avoid iron containing multivitamins. And I found the uh, many uh, cereals have iron. The tea, coffee, calcium decreased iron absorption and the red meat has to, consumption has to be moderate. Iron absorption increased with the gastric acidity. So the proton pump inhibitors like uh, omeprazole decreased its absorption. The prognosis depends on the extent of organ injury, but most patients have a normal lifespan when their serum ferritin level is less than 2,000 nanogram at the time of diagnosis. Thank you for watching.